Live box break 2022 Tops Baseball Series 2 Jumbo Box product that when the checklist was dropped, a lot of people frustrated with the lack of the star rookies with all the young talent in baseball this year. Of course, it has since come out that there are some rookies, Bobby Witt, Julio Rodriguez, Spencer Torgerson, all with short print rookies. Of course, short print's not guaranteed in every box from what I understand, and uh, there's definitely a number of short prints. Full checklist has not been released yet as of the last time I checked. So it'll be interesting to see how hard it is to get those guys. What's up, Bob Lewis? Going to break this one live. Got some family over. Got a nephew right here playing with some uh, play school fire trucks. He was having fun with some 1990 Topps baseball cards. So if you got junk cards, there's always a, a use for them. Because you can always count to three and then go zoom and watch them fly, right? <laughs> Getting a look right now. So we'll break this. We'll see what we get. Appreciate those watching live, those watching archived. Of course, as a uh, Phillies collector, always love to build the Topps team set, add to that ultimate team set every year. Let's take a look at the box real quick. One autograph, two relics per box. Uh, generally, you'll get a base set out of a hobby box, certainly not guaranteed. Ten packs, 46 cards per pack. No, there was that weird Tatis thing and then a Reggie Jackson. I did open one of these boxes with my dad, and we're op I'm opening the second one. You've got the box topper, which is Trey Turner. So the All-Star 1987 throwback box toppers. A lot of this stuff will be made available in the next live sale. As I was saying, like building the Phillies team set. I think they have about 10 base cards. And then I do know that Aaron Nola has an image variation and Mike Schmidt. So at some point, I'll have to pick those up for the ultimate team set. We'll see what we get here. We got two silver packs as well. We'll start with some of the base cards. Let's look at the... Odds, bunch of different stuff. Golds, rainbow foils, gold rainbow foil, which is exclusive to hobby boxes. And then, of course, ton of colors and printing plates and platinums and patches and all kinds of stuff. Hello. All right, let's see what we got in pack number one. First card of the box, Max Muncy, who had a three-run home run after Tony La Russa. Uh, you know, sh started to, you know, just baffle people. Tommy, did you hear about Tom Tony La Russa yesterday? No. The uh, Dodgers had a guy on first, and he advanced to second. He moved to second, Freddie Freeman. Trey Turner was batting with a 1-2 count, and he intentionally walked him. 1-2 count, and then Max Muncy hit a three-run home run. What Appreciate those watching live. We got the Stemic, Reese ND, Jay Grimes. There's a uh, Minnesota twin there, the Stemic. Randy, JR. Appreciate you watching live. In the product, at least one of the base rookies, O'Neill Cruz. Chris Paddock. Willie Calhoun, Noah Syndergaard. So some players in the updated uniform, some guys not. Brandon Woodruff, Shane Baz, another one of the better rookies. Of course, pitcher, so he won't command a ton. But There's a home run challenge, which the first box we broke did not have one of. This one is of Bo Bichette. Got a... Rainbow, gold rainbow foil, Glenn Otto, rookie for the Texas Rangers, O'Neill Cruz, Generation Now insert, Joe Ryan, 1987, 
So not too bad on the inserts there. Seth Beer rookie. Nico Horner. Here, you want him to make an appearance? We got a, a play school figurine making an appearance in the video. Nick Gordon. Colton Wong. Jordan Lyles. Sixto Sanchez. What else we got here? Alex Dickerson. Jordan Alvarez. Trey Turner. Kiebert Ruiz. Jake McCarthy. He's actually uh, a rookie. He hasn't gotten a lot of attention. I'm pretty sure he's hitting a solid amount of home runs this year. I think he's gotten off to a solid start. So it could be all right. Brandon Belt gold foil. Cal Ripken Jr. Toronto All-Star Game patch. It's actually a nice looking card. I mean, the manufactured relic things aren't anything they're ever going to go for a ton, but they've done a better job over the years making them look uh, a lot better. Those are some 1990 Topps cards going Zoom. Aaron Judge, Sweet Shades. Fernando Tatis Jr., 87. Juan Yepes, rookie. Decent player for the Cardinals. So it's not like there are no rookies in here. It's just the bigger guys that aren't part of the base set. Flaherty Badu Thank you to Stemic Tristan McKenzie I'm always like fascinated with like he's so skinny Danes B. Swanson LeMayhu Ryan Mountcastle Rookie Cup Jose Siri, rookie, Rendon, Lorenzo Kane. Jeff McNeil, foil. We've got a gold parallel of Eloy Jimenez. The uh, diamond die cuts, these are pretty nice. They obviously were in series one. Ty Cobb. I don't remember if I even ever picked up the Phillies that were in there if we got them in a break. It's a nice Greg Maddox, 1987 All Star. Strasburg, Barnes, there's McCutcheon, first Philly of the box. Of course, not a Philly any longer, but. Toro, Tommy Edmond, Kiermaier, Yon Mancada, J.P. Crawford, Rafi Devers.
Tops update should be uh, a pretty loaded checklist at the very least, the standard checklist, because all the guys who have SPs in uh, in this set will have regular base cards in that. Plus, you should have a few other guys like Bryson Stott for the Phillies. As far as I know, he doesn't have a SP, but he should be an update. It's an Alec Bohm base. Akiyama. Hans Kraus. Phillies acquired him from Texas in the uh, deal last year where they traded Spencer Howard. I will, in uh, my next sale, have some stuff available from this and uh, should have some stuff up on the eBay store as well as a possibility. I'll have those links in the description uh, after I post this. Lamont Weed, Marquez, Tyler O'Neill, Toronto Talent. All right, inserts, parallels, gold, rainbow, foil, Nico Horner. No Hit Club, Corey Kluber. That set would be way cooler if they did one of like every no-hitter that ever took place instead of just ones from the last couple of years. Derek Jeter and Cole Tucker Base. J Hat. Aaron Hicks. Odubel Herrera. Runnerworth, Garrett Richards. Yeah, I mean, with all the delays and see the paper stuff, I would think they'd be able to get done pretty quickly. It's the uh, Chrome stock that I think. I mean, Tops is frustrating. Still waiting on 2021 Tops Chrome Platinum Anniversary. They've been, ex you know, was excited for like a year ago. But, I mean, Panini's actually far worse than Tops. I mean, Prism Football from last year just finally came out. Optic's still not out, and they have a ton of products. But you would think some of these Tops product, paper products would come out, update it quicker. There's a Reese Hoskins base. Hernandez. Google, Gavin Lux, Josh Bell, Benintendi, Casey Mize, Brandon Lau, Luis Garcia, Robbie Ray, and Michael Taylor. All right, Rainbow Foil, Glenn Otto. We've got Kevin Smith. What the heck is this? think that is a variation. Not like our number one choice either. Let's say 865. So that's how you can tell in the variations. The base cards are 47. That one ends in 65. And you can look up on one of the checklists and see what it is. I would assume this is just a random, random short print. Of course they have Super short prints and ultra short, short prints and stuff like that. But Kevin Smith for the Blue Jays. Obviously, you'd prefer Bobby Witt or... There's a Stanton Relic. So that's our second Relic. Should still have an auto. Freddie Peralta. Buster Posey. Brett Phillips, Kenley Jansen. I know he has a uh, Braves short print in here, and I do. Know, yeah, Destemic said there's Kirby Puckett. This is a pretty good number. I know I saw like Eddie Murray. There's a lot of the old timers. Here's Connor Seabold. He was a prospect with the Phillies. They gave him away in the Brandon Workman deal, which did not work out because Brandon Workman. 
Couldn't get anyone out. There's a Ronald Torres. Justin Brule. Santander. I did I saw Correa was one. It's Glaber Torres base. That's why I was wondering if any of the Phillies would have been in it. It wouldn't shock me if Schwarber or someone had one, but no Steve Jeltz. This is Zach Gallen. Mark Kana. Thank you, Nate. Appreciate it. David Bodie. Miles Straw. A lot of uh, action shots in this set. MVP meets rookie. So, Wander Franco, which you really don't see. And Bryce Harper. But they listed it on the checklist as Wander Franco. But that's more of a Bryce Harper card, really. Tommy, can you send uh, Karen a message for me? She's like sending me text messages. Brian Reynolds. Oh, this is the autograph we got in the first box. Adon for the Nationals. The other day I was looking at something. I just somehow came across and saw he was 1 in 10 on the year. So he's he's struggling. Not the auto you would uh, choose. There's a Brandon Belt foil. What the heck is this? Is this another variation? I don't know what this Kevin Smith is then, but here's a Ricky Henderson, which is obviously a short print because, you know, Ricky Henderson, not an active player right now, but that is a sweet looking card. Jorge Soler, significant statistics. So that one ends in 866. So one of these might be a super, I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Do you have your phone where you can see, like, they have, like, well, the back, I think it's, like, the Beckett, I think it's the Beckett checklist that lists the variations, like, which are short prints or super short prints. There's Castellanos in a Reds uniform, unfortunately. Byron Buxton, that's a sweet card. Shout out to Stemic. Madrigal, Joe Adele, Luisa Rise, who's back, leading the big leagues in average. Here's a regular Kevin Smith card. You all right? Someone banged their head on the table. But he must be all right because he's laughing. He's also looking at a stack of 2022 Top Series 2, thinking, man, they would go what, what zoom. Number, Michael, what was his 866? The Henderson is 866, and the, six, six, and the other one's 865. Ricky Henderson, super short print. The, the other one, 865. 865 is, I assume, a short regular short print. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. So that Ricky Henderson is pretty solid, I would say. Max Muncy. Yeah, it's 866. There's another O'Neill Cruz. There's a fire this guy, I would assume, is not going to be a future Hall of Famer. He's a pitcher named Jansen Junk. Junk. Shane Bez. Brian Miller. Gold. Here's our autograph. Not a I mean, I wouldn't say it's a great autograph, but not bad. It's better than that Adon guy. Spencer Strider for the Braves. He looked really good against the Phillies. Not that at that period of time everyone wasn't looking good, but I know this guy's got good stuff. The Braves have a good farm system, and it's the 87, and it's on cards. So, you know, it wouldn't be the first autograph I'd pick, but it would be far from the last. So 
two relics and an autograph, a short print and a super short print. So solid box. Brian Reynolds, Yogi Berra. Seth Beer rookie, Nico Horner. Another Nick Gordon. Oh, and we still got the silver packs left. You never know what you can get in there. What up, Pepino? Ryan Valete. Yeah, I, I only saw a partial list at one point, and then... Uh, I was following some of the things that were getting popped up on eBay, but I'm sure there's some stuff people haven't found yet. I don't know if they released the... the usually it takes a day or two for a full checklist to come out. Here's a Nick Ahmed rainbow foil. Andrew Young gold, number to 2022. Of course, from Fargo, North Dakota. A nice card there. Bobby Dahlback, Generation Now. Vlad, 35th anniversary of 87. Hard to believe. Verlander. The Yepes rookie. Arena. All right, two packs left. Gary Sanchez, former Yankee, Cole Calhoun, Javi Baez is a Tiger. Otto Lopez, Justin Upton, yeah, I saw Carlisle, I did see that, Thompson, Brad Miller, it's a cool card even though he's a Texas Ranger, Charlie Barnes, he any good to stomach, Aaron Nola, a couple Phillies, they'll be going in the binder, Lopez, Lane Thomas, AJ Pollock, Tanner Hoke. All right, Rainbow Foil, Elvis Pagero, Sweet Shade, Xander Bogarts, Max Scherzer, 1987, as a Met. Trent Grisham, Blake Snell, Spencer Strider, Bass, Josh Harrison, Kenta Maeda, and Josh Lowe. All right, final pack, and then we've got the 87s. What? Final pack. All right, let's see what we got here. We got Soroka, Lindor, Moran, Ozzy Albies, Stanton, Henry Ramos, Christian Arroyo, Chris Bassett. Bassett, Crawford, Otani, Polanco, Joe Ryan, rookie. Ranger, Suarez, Diplin, Stewart, Piscotti, and Jock Peterson. Frankie Montas. All right, last crack at parallels and inserts. Rainbow Foil, Luis Castillo. 
We got a Steven Piscotti, numbered to 300. So that's the Advanced Stats Parallel. Advanced Stats Parallel of Piscotti. We got a Bryce Harper, Significant Statistics. OBA, 431. We got a Freddie Freeman, 87, 35th anniversary. Josh Van Meter. J.D. Davis Base, Peyton Henry, Nick Ahmed, Jeff McNeil, Frias Fletcher, Phillies Team Card, featuring Real Muto and Harper, Max Stassi, Michael Kopech, who's been pitching pretty well, Padres Team Card, Matt Carpenter, Austin Warren, Mariners, Ian Anderson, Plawecki, Roman Quinn, the Roman Quinn. Philadelphia hero. Robin a home run there. Jake Robinson, Perez, Moore, Patino, Tucker Barnhart, and Yuli Gurriel. So, here we go. We got two silver packs here. These, you get the Chrome 87s with the Mojo Refractor. They always look cool. Usually a solid checklist. And uh, you do have a chance to get color parallels, and you have an outside chance at autographs. Pretty tough, but we'll see what we get. What is it, three cards? Four? All right, we got O'Neal Cruz, so solid stuff. Logan Webb. George Springer. And an autograph. Unfortunately, it's Marcus Stroman. I mean... I'll still take it, but he'd probably be towards the bottom of the list of who I would pick if given the choice. But I'll take a bonus autograph in a box anytime. Marcus Stroman with the Cubs. Ken Griffey Jr., awesome silver pack card there. Derek Jeter, Joe Ryan. And Connor Siebold. So that was a solid box. Probably picked the right box to open on camera for sure. This is what you get. You got your box. You got piles of trash, which you can throw on the floor and let uh, your two-year-old nephew have fun with it. He's already got a smile on his face. Have fun with that. You got a big stack of base. Over 450 base cards. If you're a team collector, you like building team sets, you have opportunities like that. Get all these cards for your favorite team. I say, the trash is on fire. Hurry up, all the fire. All the fire, the trash is on fire. You can get some solid rookies. Here's some of the rookie base highlights. Ryan, Yepes, Seth Beer, Baz, O'Neal, Cruz, Siri, uh, McCarthy, Beer. So they're not too bad. You got the box topper, Trey Turner. And then here's the stack of inserts and parallels and stuff. Probably the biggest card is the super short Ricky Henderson. Got a short print of Kevin Smith. Of course, just saw these mojos. Some Hall of Famers like Griffey and Jeter. Some young kids and autograph of Marcus Stroman. O'Neal Cruz, too, so solid on them. And a whole bunch of inserts. This is the advanced stats parallels. Things you just have to look out for. Foil parallels. That was a pretty solid box. These diamond die cuts are pretty nice. On-card autograph in the box of Spencer Strider. Relic of Giancarlo Stanton. Only one regular gold parallel. They've obviously gotten harder and harder to find. Or to pull, I should say. No hit club, new insert in this set. Sweet shades. Here's the other relic. Actually pretty nice. And even hit a home run challenge card. So that's the box break. Appreciate all those guys, all you guys who watched it live, those who will watch the archive. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you break any 2020 top series two. Let me know how you did. Did you get any short prints? Any of the big rookies? 
And obviously, enjoy collecting. You got to collect what you love. Love what you collect. Enjoy the hobby. Is many aspects of it. And just have fun with it and find a way to enjoy it. Have a great one. See ya.